Hello friends, today we are on the final day of our stay in Costa Rica. What are we going to do? We are going to check out, we are going to have a nice walk in the city, enjoying its sights. Of course, we will find an Indian restaurant to have our lunch and then we'll be to the airport to catch our flights. Last night, we drove down from Arena to the capital San Jose and reached our guest house which was called Costa Rica guest house. Why we chose this place to stay because it is very centrally located a walkable distance to all the main attractions of the city. Typical of a guest house in the center of the city it was a little bit cramped but it had all the necessary facilities. The rooms were nice. It had a nice place where we can sit down and have our breakfast. We had a very comfortable sleep and got up fresh in the morning. As uh, we had uh, not planned too much for the day, we had a lot of spare time and we took it very easy in the morning having a nice breakfast and uh, some uh, funny moments too. This is a last day in Costa Rica. We are packing and leaving. Maybe we'll spend some time at the city. Then we will be leaving to the airport. We got out of our guest house, walked towards our parking lot with all our boxes and packed and ready to go. Our car is getting ready. Now that we had one full morning in our hands, we started slowly walking towards the uh, center of the city. We just crossed the courthouse, which was a great sight to see. We reached the municipal crafts market. It was a nice place to spend some time lot of artifacts, lot of things that you can shop around. We spent uh, a good amount of our time browsing through items there, trying to get a souvenir or two for our friends, for our families. Can you ever get tired of shopping? We were. There was a nice uh, garden next to that market and we sat there enjoying the local sights and the people walking around. We started walking. Another 10 minutes of walk brought us to the pre-Columbian Gold Museum. This is one of the three national level museums that provide insight into the history, politics, art and life of the early people in Costa Rica. The real value here is not in the gold bullion but in the art history and complex life before the conquest of the Europeans. 
and there was a nice square where people could sit and enjoy the nice uh, evening and this museum was situated in a subterranean level under uh, ground i would say it had great artifacts of how the gold was used how the gold was uh, uh, made into different kinds of ornaments how they valued uh, the um, element it was a very informative uh, museum it was a bit warm in the afternoon but it gave us a good time to sit down and relax and have some fun we heard there was a china town nearby having seen china towns in many of the big cities of the world we just wanted to see how it's going to be so we started walking towards the gate the china town hey, but for that uh, entrance it doesn't look like a china town for me No, it's Barrio Chino. It's where the original Chinese migrated. Yeah, sure. It didn't look like a Chinatown for me, but instead of it was like a carnival. A lot of eateries, a lot of places where you can have a nice time playing games. It was a different experience for us. We sure enjoyed throwing rings at the bottles. Maybe we won something. I don't remember. There was this nice church too. a church inside chinatown intrigued we walked inside we enjoyed the ambience and we spent some time inside lunch time all of us were really hungry we had noticed a small indian eatery board while we were been driving up and down and we thought we would go and try it out there it turned out to be a franchise of one of the biggest indian uh food uh, groups in costa rica the gentleman who was running it was a very interesting character a punjabi guy who moved from uk to mexico and finally had come and settled down in costa rica very enterprising people evening we have to report at the airport by about 7 o'clock so we thought it's time to get back to our car drive down to the airport We found a roadside shop uh, vending tender coconuts. We had a hearty drink and then left for the airport. It was rather a small airport, but it had all the facilities. Lots of uh, food uh, places to eat. Shopping. It was a place you can spend some time enjoying yourself. Sitting in the airport, I was ruminating my experiences in Costa Rica. What a beautiful country. So much to see and so much to do. I didn't feel like leaving the country at all. But what to do? We have our life to lead. I was told it was a country with a long life expectancy. maybe a genetic plays a role but their way of life contributes to the maximum happy people live longer and the greenery the animals that you see around well it certainly adds on to your happiness as a part of the pacific uh, fire ring Costa Rica has lots of volcanoes. It has got lots of rainforest. Now it has got a lot of 
bustling cities too. What else you need as an invitation to come and live here? My experiences in Costa Rica left me with a great impression. Usually I try to avoid visiting the same country again, but I cannot say the same thing about Costa Rica. I would certainly advise or suggest all those who are planning for their holidays. Costa Rica should be in your list and it should be on top of the ladder. Now that we have experienced Central America, why not get back to Far East again? That's what I'm thinking. Let me take you to another destination Far East next week. I'm sure you're happy and interested in all these videos and I'm sure you're thinking of subscribing and to like it and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching this video man.